Hello. So I thought I'd vlog today because first things first, I have some big news that I feel inclined to share. Again, it's probably one of those things that I shouldn't share. Not really gonna make me look good, but you guys know me and my channel. I'm all about realness, vulnerability, sharing low points, which yes, there have been a lot lately. <laughs> there have, it's true. Um, but um, what's that Bieber lyric? We can only go up from here. There's only one way up from here. I don't, I, like that's an old Bieber song. That's like showing that I'm a real believer. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna share that bit of news. But first, look at my children. <gasps> All three of my little kitty blobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let her sleep. I'm not gonna wake her. The boys is already up, so we'll go bother her. What are you doing, cutie? Look at those eyes. So pretty. And you know, there's another reason why I wanted to vlog today. Because I have been invited to this fancy, fancy YouTuber event tonight by Mr. Joseph Graceffa. And I don't... I mean, I want to go, don't get me wrong, I want to go, but um, now that we're about four hours out from the time I have to leave, I'm starting to like panic and be like, I don't want to go. <laughs> what, what kind of excuse can I think of so I don't have to go? Like, what can I tell him so I don't have to go? But like, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And now that we're hanging out today and I'm committed to hanging out with you guys today, I know that I have to go, so. Yes, I thought it'd be a good time to vlog. But okay, enough stalling. What is this news? Hi, you guys. I've shared a lot of personal things online before that have made me look bad. I remember one time, I wanna say the year was 2010, maybe early 2011. I told this story about how I didn't have enough money at the grocery store and I had to put things back. And that, so, that story haunted me for like years. Granted, this is YouTube 2011. I feel like things are a little bit different now, but back then that was like drama. <laughs> oh my God, Kalel couldn't afford strawberries and had to put them back. But really the story was I had just gone to New York Fashion Week and this was, again, 2011. I wasn't making an overwhelming amount of money. I was making enough money on YouTube to, to like support my life, but not to like pay rent and a trip to New York and a bunch of groceries apparently. So I told that story and then like it haunted me for years. So then from that point on, I was like, I'm never gonna share something that can circle back and haunt me ever again but obviously I have, but that's the last time I think I ever said anything about my personal financial situation. Um, obviously, since that point, my financial situation has been pretty solid. It's been pretty good. I've made fairly good money uh, over the course of the 10 years that I've been on YouTube. And this year, despite not really working, I've still made a decent amount of money, but I had a very, very dark, mm, I wanna say three months where I literally had zero dollars. Like I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I had, I think I had one single dollar in my wallet that I was holding on, <laughs> I was holding on to just for the sake of saying that I'm not completely broke and I just wouldn't spend that one dollar. Literally my parents, so sweet, uh, told me to spend $50 a week on groceries and gave me their card to use on Instacart which that's the first time that my parents have ever given me anything in my adult life. Um, I'm fiercely independent. I don't ever accept money, even from boyfriends. Like I don't let boyfriends buy me anything, pay for anything. Um, and so it felt weird to accept something from my parents, but it also felt, you know, like I felt the love, you know, every now and then I do think parents should provide, I mean, not not at 30 years old, but <laughs> it just made me really feel loved and obviously I'm paying my parents back, but it, it, the loan made me feel very loved and supported and taken care of in my time of need and um, that was nice. But yeah, the point is I had about three months where I was completely poor, 
completely poor. And even though I was completely poor, I still couldn't bring myself to work. That's how you know, like I know a lot of people maybe don't understand what it's like to be deeply depressed, but I think that speaks volumes. I had zero dollars and I still couldn't bring myself to work. Like what more motivation in life do you need to get to step in than having zero dollars? <laughs> It was so bad, it was just really bad. So anyway, getting to the story, you guys. Um, there was a, one moment, right when I dr had drained all of my savings and I pretty much had no money, um, I could not pay my rent. I did not have enough money to pay my rent. I ended up paying it about three weeks late, right? And, and this was after getting a loan from a friend. Um, so I paid my rent three weeks late and my apartment building sued me. Now, the company that owns my apartment building is massively powerful, huge, huge to the point where they would never look at something on a case-by-case -case basis. They're, everything is by the book, everything has a formula. Three weeks late, sue her, take her to court, da 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 it was a whole process, right? <sighs> Never in my life have I ever been so embarrassed and so humiliated and so ashamed of myself. And also it just, it's so frustrating to not really be able to explain to people why I put myself in that situation. Well, why couldn't you pay your rent? Well, I just wasn't working. Well, why weren't you working? Well, I was extremely depressed. And it's just, even to me, even saying it out loud, it just doesn't really make sense. I don't know why, I just, was extremely lethargic, I had zero energy, I had zero motivation. I don't know. And my job is so simple, really. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm an entertainer. I pick up a camera and I share my story and I connect to others and I could have connected to you guys during that time. I'm sure there are lots of people who are going through a depression right now that could have found some kind of relief in those videos, but I just still couldn't even bring myself to do it, I don't know, it, it was just crazy. But anyway, that's, I don't wanna get too deeply into that because I know I've talked about this a few times and you guys are probably sick of hearing about it. But the point is, my apartment building sued me, they took me to court, and even though I can pay, and I was only late that one time, they're still kicking me out. Not only kicking me out, but I have to keep paying rent here until they fill my apartment, and they're not, like I, at first I was like, okay, if you're gonna do that, let's just let me pay to break my lease. I'll pay, cause you can pay two months rent, you can break your lease and leave, right? So I'm like, I'll just pay to break the lease because I have the money to do it now, you know? So let's just do that. No, you're, you're not allowed to break your lease at this point. I'm like, okay, well I, I was never officially evicted. Um, because there was, there was communication involved and because I went to the court hearing and all of that, I wasn't evicted. Um, so I'm like, wait, why can't I pay to break my lease? So you're telling me I have to move out, I have to move out by law, but I also have to keep paying? Like what, excuse me? Like how do I know that you're going to put forth effort to fill my apartment? And then it, they also said it's not even an option for me to attempt to fill it myself because, you know, sometimes if you want to break your lease, you can find a new tenant yourself. I'm not even allowed to do that. So I'm just like, this just doesn't really seem fair to me. Anyway, guys, listen. I was sad about this for a really long time. I cried. I had my moment of just face palming. You know what I mean? Just like, how did I let my life come to this? This is like the most embarrassing terrible thing that I've ever put myself through. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but listen, if there's one thing I love in life, it's a fresh start. And granted, I didn't choose the fresh start this time, but the universe is giving it to me. And maybe it's giving it to me for some specific reason. So I'm gonna just go with it. Uh, I found a new place to live. I really, really, really like it. I actually might like it even more than this place, which is saying a lot. So I will bring you guys with me on my move. I will show you. I'm moving super, super soon. I need to get packing. You can see like why I have like some of my things. I've started kind of thinking about what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna donate and what I need to like, what I need to do with all these things. But yes, so that's what's been happening with me. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, I don't know why I'm sharing this. So for the event tonight, there's a dress code and you're supposed to come looking like you live in the 1930s. And I'm like, I have nothing, and I mean nothing, in my wardrobe that could even come close to passing as something that was around in the 1930s. So I ordered a dress, very last minute, literally like overnight delivery. Um, I haven't even tried it on yet. It's still downstairs in the package area. I have to go get it. I got an extra small, you guys. There's, I wanna say a 50% chance this dress is not gonna fit me. And then I'll have my excuse for not going. <laughs> No, we're gonna make it work, but I have never been so scared in my life to try on a dress. So let's go get it and see. Also, it's kind of low cut. Cause this is like the only one I could find that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend $80 on a dress that I'm never ever ever gonna wear again. And this was the only dress I could find that I thought, hmm, I might eventually be able to wear this someplace else. So I really hope that one, it fits, and two, my nipple does not come out at some point, because. <laughs> okay, so this is the dress I got. It's from Lulu's. And I'm going for a very like Hollywood glam vibe. It's like, here, let's go to the mirror. Okay, I think this is gonna work. You see, it's just like a, you can't really see in this mirror because it's quite dark, but it's just like a silky, fitted super long black dress and then i also got because i felt like this looked too modern Rene, you gonna show them what i got i got a fake fur like shrug which is probably gonna look horrible and then i also got jewelry but it's not in there oh no i mean i think this should work it's a bit revealing but i did pin it and I think it should be, I think this should work. So I thought I had about an hour, an hour and a half to get ready, but I just put the address into my phone and it's a two and a half hour drive. I mean, I, a traffic, LA traffic coming from OC to going to LA, I knew it was gonna be, I was guessing about two hours, maybe a little under, but two and a half. And we're not even in rush hour yet. So I feel like I literally have 15 minutes, I don't even have time to shower. I'm so sad. <laughs> Maybe I just shouldn't go, right? Maybe I just shouldn't go. No, 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 we're going, we're gonna make this work. Guys, I made it. My Lyft driver literally just made me get out and walk. <laughs> oh, oh, how cute. She's serving the champagne. This is how you get your champagne. Are you kidding right now? Guys, this the servers are on stilts and it's literally giving me so much anxiety. Every time he comes over here, I feel like he's gonna fall. Ladies and gentlemen, sir, if I may, can you please stand up front? Before we begin this trick, we shall move with old school magic. Two scarves, sir. Would you please raise your hand? Excellent. We're gonna pop these into your pants here, just to hold on to them for a moment. If you don't mind, do you? Yes, sir. Count of three. I mean, what? One, two, pull. Oh! Give him a round of applause. And on this evening, September 19th, 1970. We have to sign our lives away you or something. Could be murdered, Paris, oh, we could be murdered. Sir, what period. amazing period. book did you write? Um, what was that book you wrote? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so, the loneliest butterfly, my masterpiece. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt the party. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> Miss Peacock won't be coming tonight. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Peacock won't be coming tomorrow night. Miss Peacock won't be coming any night. Miss Peacock is dead. She was found shot to death in her study, murdered earlier tonight, and the police have reason to believe the killer came straight to this party afterwards. Miss Peacock was hard at work in her study. Hardly working. 
Nicole, you call that working? Come on. All right. There you go. <laughs> Mark, yes. More, more of a the saunter there. Right. Yeah, it's a creepy saunter. <laughs> and, okay. So, Miss Peacock looks up and sees him and he's startled. Oh, oh, oh boy. Hey. I want you to stop this right now. You know that I stole the loneliest <laughs> butterfly from you, and how dare you uh. take credit for the work that I rightfully stole from you! Oh. But she's not having any of it, so she gets up. Oh. She shakes her finger in his face and says, No, 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 you didn't! We're plotting and trying to figure out who the murderer is. <laughs> Can I just say, we have the most iconic butler. <laughs> like, he's literally looks like the, the guy on Charlie's Angels. He's so in character. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't think I... Yeah, Charlie's Angels with the mustache and he steals the girl's hair. Look how gorgeous this is. Wow, look at these flowers. I should probably be paying attention to where I'm walking. This is your final table. All right, we're going into the monkey room. I think this is, is this the scene of the crime? Oh, this is. Before he dies. Now you may touch everything, but be careful. These fingerprints, please, when touching the glass, touch it out here. Because if you touch there, then your fingerprints are there. We can see. Oh, we have to study the fingerprints. We have to match the fingerprints. The escape room master found the key. Wait, 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 what'd you find? Look at the Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Dear Mr. Greenspan, murder it is. I will handle switching the glasses. Wait, why would he write then this? We'll split the money. <laughs> Yours and mine. Jarvis. Jarvis. This man just killed himself. Wait. No. Wait. Hold Lee on. Lee shot Warren. Oh, he did. Lee shot Warren. Oh, that's the real Warren. That's Lee Dingle. Desserts back. Desserts back. Oh, oh desserts back. That's more relevant. <laughs> Wait, they're picking up the body. The handgun that is pictured oh my God. in those photographs. This is like so beyond. Up. And if you spoke to Greens, our country of origin. What you got there? <laughs> what is no, this? My name's yeah. Agent Schleinweiner. Oh, is this for me? Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for all yeah. night. <laughs> oh, you guys. I'm so tired. I can't even show you my face right now. So we're going to end this video with a little black screen video i know you guys love these so here you go um so after the event we all went out to dinner and had fun had laughs um and then by the time i ubered home which you know for me to get home from la is about an hour i'm just dead you guys and i have to start moving tomorrow i have so much to do this next week is going to be oh god moving alone without I mean I have movers sure but like I don't have anyone helping me like I'm I'm having the movers do like my big stuff but all of the small things I'm kind of moving back and forth myself and to move alone without a boyfriend is like I've done it once before but to have to do it again I'm like not looking forward to it because I I'm a very weak person, you guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't work out. I have no upper body strength whatsoever. And I'm also the kind of person that when I have something big to get done, such as settling into a new place, I like, I don't know, I, I like won't eat, I won't sleep, I won't stop to do, you know, the things that keep a human being alive. Uh, so maybe I'll finally lose the weight. <laughs> no uh i'm sure i'll still find time to eat but it's gonna be the next week of my life is gonna be pure chaos i have so much to get done i'm just stressed thinking about it but anyway hope you guys had fun uh watching this video i feel like i probably shouldn't even post this video because this is so beyond embarrassing but again i know i'm like a broken record at this point I just really want to share my lows with you guys because I think eventually I'm going to come out the other side of this and it'll be inspirational to look back on. You know, yeah, I had a really hard year. I really went through it, but I came out okay. And so if you're going through something, you too can come out the other side. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Love you guys. See you really soon. Good night. Bookie san can you say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Hmm? No, she's just sniffing. <laughs> okay, good night.